Hi there! This is Jane Butel with Chilies and Chilies, showing you how to make perfect guacamole. First of all, here we see the mise en place, as they call it in French. It's all the ingredients. You want to have them all prepared ahead of time so that the avocado won't have an opportunity to um, oxidize. And we have the tomato, um, fairly smallly chopped um, onion, um, cilantro that we're going to hack or cut coarsely, uh, the jalapeno, garlic, fresh lime, and we're going to add salt. In, um, in preparing the avocado, the first thing you're going to want to take out is that little stem end, and then slice the avocado by rolling the avocado around the knife so you'll get a nice even cut on the half. Now here, Avocados, the best kind is Haas, which these are, which is H-A-S in English and H-A-A-S in Spanish or vice versa. Um, and if they have a little bit of that oxidation, it just means that it got bumped somewhere in storage or something of that sort. If you want to really get perfect avocados, uh, purchase them when they're hard and green and ripen them in a warm place, such as the top of your refrigerator if you have a freestanding refrigerator. I always like to strike out the pit just like that. Um, and the pit, um, saving the pit to place in the guacamole is just sort of like busy work. It doesn't do anything to, to prevent oxidation. This is a little gadget for cutting avocado. It's really wonderful. It scoops it all out and gets it in nice even slices which are just wonderful for sandwiches or making guacamole or whatever. Because to make perfect guacamole you need the avocado to stay in chunks. You do not want it all um, mushy. Uh, you don't want to use a blender. You don't want to use a fork because that abuses the avocado and makes it uh, oxidize further and, and uh, turn dark and it, it will develop a more bitter flavor a lot faster. And you can see here that I really, if I didn't get it all, I can just go after it a second time. Uh, there's actually 92 varieties of Haas. So if, if it looks like a Haas it is, which is this coarse lumpy texture and more of an egg shape. Um, the other two styles of avocados that are not as good. Now see, we, these avocados must have had a rough time somewhere in their storage life. And here we're just twisting out the seed. Uh, so I'm just going to cut out some of that oxidation. Some people leave it in because it honestly tastes just about the same as, as avocado would ordinarily. It's just appearance. Um, the other two types of avocados are the Fuertes, which is the pear shape, which is a deeper green, sort of a bright green with little black freckles. And then the kind that is really not so good for making guacamole is the Florida style avocado, which is big and has a very hard skin. And the um, flesh inside tends to be kind of watery and stringy and it just doesn't work well for, for making guacamole. So if you don't have one of these little gadgets, you can use a spoon, just like a large tablespoon, and just scoop it out. You're just going to have a little more work to do when, when you're getting the avocado ready for adding the other ingredients. And you can see this is the whole half right there. And, and see how that little slicing gadget, it's sort of amazing. When I first saw it, I didn't think I'd like it, but I love it. <laughs> It's really great for a lot of purposes. So we're going to use fresh garlic, never garlic powder or garlic salt. They just won't yield as fresh a flavor. Uh, they'll be more bitter. And if you've had the garlic powder, garlic salt around for any length of time, they just age very ungracefully. They just get more and more bitter and awful. And so buy fresh garlic. And if you put salt on the knife, you could see how I smushed it. Just sort of hit it with the back of your hand, and that helps to release the skin. And then we're using, this is called a slicing knife. And the reason for the salt is that when you put the salt on the blade, before you really start mincing it, it enhances um, the ability of the garlic to stay on the board as opposed to the garlic climbing the sides of your knife. And it also makes it very easy to get the garlic off the knife. So we're just going to give it probably another cut through here. And we've just about got this garlic minced. And that baby's just about ready to flavor. So we're just keep this for adding to the... Um, adding to our guacamole. I'm just getting all the last bits. Now, I just kind of wanted to point out the different styles of knives. That was just a slicing knife, the one I just used. It's uh, thinner. Then the other two knives are um, 
thicker quality and they're more of a, a utility knife or a chef's knife and here you see the um, it's a fresh jalapeno I just sliced the uh, very top cap off and to keep from getting capsaicin can be very um, stinging in other words for sensitive parts of your body such as your eyes if you get capsaicin on your fingertips and then rub your eye you'll only do it once because <laughs> it stings and smarts for a while so I'm showing you a way that I hold the avocado with my hand in such a manner and I use this long point of shot uh, a slicing knife so that I get rid of that um, it's called the placenta which is the factory for producing the hot spicy quality that chilies have and here we're just going to slice it thinly through and then come back and mince it um, the fresh jalapeno has so much better taste you'll notice every single ingredient that I'm using is fresh um, fresh is totally best um, pickled jalapenos won't yield the same taste and the roasted uh, green chili is a little watery and doesn't have as peppy of flavor so I really do prefer the jalapeno for this and I like it pretty finely minced frankly because a lot of people are a little nervous about getting too big a bite of of the hotter chili this chili will range around 20 to 35 heat a uh, thousand heat units which is you know it's enough to get your attention if you're sensitive to spice so we're just going to get this ready to add and what I like to do is I, I add the fresh squeezed I'm just going to cut it a little bit with two knives like you might think of cutting baby food and maybe just cut it into like approximately half inch squares and then we're going to grab some fresh lime and I really feel that fresh lime juice is so much superior to the um, canned or you know it comes in a little plastic lime it just doesn't taste the same it's more bitter we're going to add um, the garlic in now we're adding our minced jal uh, jalapeno and um, I'm not adding quite all of it because I'm not sure everybody's going to appreciate it being too spicy and we're just going to add the balance of the ingredients which is the uh, finely chopped onion and tomato and I didn't add all of each I'm just adding um, enough that I think will flavor it properly and if I feel it wants more you can always add but you know if you get too much of something it's very difficult to pick out all the pieces of tomato that you think are surplus or onion or whatever so now I'm using a folding motion around the bowl just over and, and up and um, we're getting it pretty well mixed and then we're going to start with uh, adding the cilantro and some people don't care to add the cilantro the traditional guacamole did not have cilantro so we've come to like it though Ed, recently so we cut it once through in very coarse chop and that's it cut it once through on one going one way and and then come back and and rechop going the second way and now we're just going to give it a final fold before we sample it avocados vary so much in size so much in and butteriness um, and so it's really almost impossible to give you a recipe I am giving you the recipe but use it as a guide not as the absolute um, that you just have to do it that way so we're, we're just going to taste some on a blue corn chip I have a preference for blue corn which is totally New Mexican and I'm here in New Mexico and I'm just going to check out whether I want more salt or lime or tomato or any of the other ingredients and we're just giving it a check here and I think it needs a wee bit more lime so I'm just squeezing it I just squeeze it right from the half of lime myself if you want to get the most juice out of a lime or lemon or citrus cut it in half uh, crossways if you cut it lengthwise the juice won't come out so I feel like it's done and now we just put it in a pretty bowl and there you have it perfect guacamole enjoy have a fiesta every day <laughs>